Hello friends. In this video, give a look how to disable and remove a task view on Windows 10. It's a new feature that has been added to the April update of Windows 10. In this video, I'm going to show you how to disable and remove this task view. So it's quite complicated. So I'll make it easy for you. So task view is the new features that keeps record of all the accessed what are the several stuff that you have used every day it keeps a record of that so if you don't want to keep a record of these things you want to disable these features or remove these features so very simple step guys i'm going to show you four different easy way so the first easy way somewhere in a tax bar give a right click and then you can see guys so tax view button just uncheck this and it's gone so anyone can just check this once again they can check this once again and just it will come back again so this is not the permanent solution so the second step that you can follow okay guys the second step that you can follow you can make some changes in the group policy all right so you're gonna press windows plus r in your keyboard so it's a windows button and r button together and we're gonna see this gpedit.msc click on ok as soon as you click on ok wait for a few seconds and then guys you're gonna see this it's a local group policy editor so if you're using the home edition of a windows 10 you might have to enable this first so be sure to enable the group policy then you can follow these steps or you can go with the third and fourth step so this is the second step so once you open it you can see guys a computer configuration in the beginning you're going to see like this a computer configuration you're going to click on administrative templates inside computer configuration click on administrative templates it's a drop down icon so once you click on administrative templates you're going to see as a drop down icon here you have a windows component so click on windows component just click on this drop down icon so inside windows component just come down and you're going to see here as ui all right so select this as ui and then here you have a couple of options on the top here you have allow as swipe select this allow edge swipe and then click on policy settings or give a right click and you can just edit it or click on this policy settings once you click on policy settings you just have to disable it select disable click on apply and then click on ok and restart your pc all right this is the second steps you can follow so when you restart your PC, you will see this will be gone. So just disable it, apply and OK. And restart your PC, the second step. OK guys, now let's go with the third step. So the third solution will be making some changes in the registry. Press again Windows plus R. And then now we'll be type R E Z E D I T. Paste it over here and click on OK. It might you ask you for any permission. Click on Yes, and then guys, you're gonna see this. Okay. So in the beginning, it's gonna look like this. So what you need to do is you're gonna choose this. It's a H key current user. Select this H key current user and click on it and then you're gonna choose software from here so here is the software click on software it's a drop down icon in software guys you're gonna choose a microsoft here you have a microsoft click on this drop down icon inside microsoft you're gonna look for windows come down and then guys here you have a windows select the windows and click on drop down icon inside windows 
we're gonna look for current version okay guys here we have on the top it's a current version select this current version and here we have a drop down icon click on drop down icon and then guys we'll select this explorer all right select this explorer and here you have a drop down icon in the explorer tool now inside explorer we come down and we can look advanced somewhere so here we have on the top itself is the advanced so click on advanced and then now we're gonna see over here on the right side so on the right side somewhere here we have show tax view button all right so just keep a right click on it and click on modify change the one value to zero and then you're gonna click on ok and restart your computer this will disable your tax view the third step you can follow change the value to zero and click on ok so you can reverse the step guys if you want to enable just come back again and change the value to one and it will be enabled so whatever step you are following to disable just reverse the step and you can enable it back again so change the value to zero and click on ok and it will be disabled do not forget to restart your computer this was the third step okay guys the fourth and the final step that you can follow press the windows and r button again so here you have windows plus r and then you're gonna type r e g e d i t again and then you're gonna open the registry again now you're gonna follow the steps okay some steps are similar so same edge key current user click on it and then we're gonna click on software so inside software we're gonna click on Microsoft so inside Microsoft we come down and then uh, guys we're gonna click on Windows drop down icon and then here we have the current version select the current version and drop down icon come down here we have explorer all right here we have explorer come down to explorer it's a drop down icon so give a right click on explorer and then click on new click on key all right we give a name to the new key all right just edit it just rename it so the rename it to multitasking view all right so we have created it inside explorer and click on ok so select that now so here we have the path we have gone through edge key current user software microsoft windows current version explorer so inside explorer we have given the right click and we have created a multitasking view inside multitasking view select this multitasking view and again click on new so give a right click select new and then click on key so we are going to create another new key inside that so what is the name that we'll be giving to the new key all of view just copy it okay you can just type it as it is so small should be small capital letter should be capital so rename it and then I'm just going to paste it so all of view and then you're gonna select that once you select it now you can see guys inside multitasking view we have created all of view so click on this all of view and on the right side guys click on on the right side so on the right side you have plane just in the empty space give a right click and click on new and then click on key sorry guys it's a not a key okay guys so it's a not a key so select this all of view so we are over here back to all of view all right give a right click and then click on new so you're gonna select okay if your computer is 32 bit computer you're gonna select 32 bit if you're using okay guys here you have 64 bit also you're gonna select this same d word all right select this d word it's a d w o r d all right here you have a value it's a you can give a name so the name should be like d word you can just give a name you can just rename it 
to D word. Paste it the D word. Now give a right click on it and click on modify. Set the value to zero and then click on OK. So and then you have to restart your computer and this should disable or this will remove your task view. The fourth and the final step. All right, one among the four steps will definitely help you guys. If one step doesn't work, go with another step. One of the four step will definitely help you disable this task view. Even you can delete it guys, it's of no use if you have a problem. If you want to enable it back again, set it back, set this value, set this value to one and click on OK. Or you can just delete it as you have created in the same way, you can just delete it. So guys, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and click on bell icon for quick notification. Share this video guys, you can help out many other people. Have a good day, catch you in the next video.